Good morning, everyone. Today's Monday. I'm back in the kitchen and I've got another grocery haul for you today. through mummy's eyes if you're returning good to see you again if you're new thank you for joining us today please hit that red subscribe button down below we do tons of fun videos around here we do day in the lives week in the lives tons of hauls I love a good bargain as well as my favorites what's in my bag all that kind of stuff so if you'd like to join me then please hit the red subscribe button down below so today it's Monday, which means I've got a grocery haul for you. Um, I had a couple small hauls last week, which I will insert in the iCard, um, as well as linking them down below. But I had, was due a big shop. I wanted to put it off till later in the week, but I thought, you know what, I'll just get it done, get my meal plan done for the week. I will be sharing my meal plan with you guys at the end of this video. So please stay tuned for that. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I got. My total today was 97 pounds. So we budget as a family of four, 100 pounds a week for groceries as well as home goods. So I have spent our whole budget for this. okay because I've got a meal plan organized and on the home goods front, we're absolutely fine. So we should be fine for this week. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys everything that I bought. Okay guys, just starting down here, um, I bought some, Sparkling water, um, I've really been into this lately. I've not been feeling my best and I just find just drinking loads of water has really helped me as well as three orange, sorry, three juices. Asda always does a three for three pounds. So I got an apple juice for the kids. I got um, pink grapefruit for my husband and I got a tomato dash vegetable kind of juice for myself. I'm the only one who likes that, but. Also, pull-ups were on sale, so I got two packs. They were two pounds each. That's for Jack. He wears those at night times as well as if he takes a nap. Moving on up, here's an overview of all my groceries. So let's start over here. Let's start the fun section. Amazing deal. My kids are going to be so happy, but yo-yo bears were on sale for a pound, which I have never seen them on sale for that cheap. So I stocked up on four boxes. We use these for... Um, Jack's school lunches as well as when we go out with the kids on the weekends or sports snacks that kind of thing so that was a great deal I got two packs of granola bars I always get the kids the Canadian maple syrup just a little touch of home um, as well as these apple slice things these I find to be a really good snack in the morning sometimes the kids are still hungry after breakfast when we go on our walk to school and they come in a pack of three so I find if I give one to Harry and then Jack will have one on the way to Harry's school as well as on the way to his school they just tend to be a good little go-to snack um okay let's move over into here into still sticking with the pantry i got some of the chocolate hazelnut spread for the boys for their toast i got these i haven't got these in a long time but i've been doing loads of cooking lately and i just thought they'd well hence the name very lazy <laughs> they would help me out so we've got the chopped ginger the chili and the garlic I also needed just to get some mixed herbs. I was out of those. And just a plain kind of tomato uh, pasta sauce for us. Okay, moving on here. Sorry, there's no order really in here. Two avocados, two packs of bananas. I'm going to peel these ones and freeze them for our smoothies. And then these ones the kids can just have out of the fruit bowl. Some frozen fruits. That's to go with the smoothies as well as down here the spinach. I'll be making up my smoothie packs today. Um, fresh basil that's to go with a pasta dish I'm doing staple in our family if you guys know us well two packs of sugar snap peas for Jack to take to school lunches some asparagus corn on the cob kind of in the dairy section here quite a big dairy section this time got some buffalo mozzarella that will be for a salad some of this uh, Gloucester cheese we tend to like that just on burgers and stuff a tzatziki dip um, that I'm sort of doing like a Greek dish, which we'll need. Two things of cream cheese. They're both low fat. One's uh, garlic and herb and one's just a regular. Um, my husband loves this seriously strong spreadable cheese. Little packs of cheese. These are for Jack to take to nursery. Also needed some grated mozzarella because we're doing pizzas this week. And then for myself in the morning to go with my granola is this Greek style honey yogurt. 
Still in the dairy section, they were having a huge sale. It was two for two pounds something. I'm not sure. For the kids, it was anyway. So I got the little squeezy. These are just yogurt pouches, the frozen kind for Jack to take to school lunches. And then Harry likes to have one of these in the morning. They're just um, a little yogurt drink. For myself and my husband, because we've both been really poorly for the last week, um, I got us each these little, little vitamin boosters. They're like the yogurts just to have first thing in the morning. So these were two for four pounds. Um, moving on, little snacky pepperoni things for the kids. They love those. And then this is for the pizza we're going to be doing. Big thing of treats. So I needed to get a pilau rice. Um, again, some gluten-free pasta. These are just the plain little brioche rolls. I find that Jack either takes these for lunch or, you know, the kids will have them in the morning for breakfast. And um, finally, Asda had some bagels in. I love bagels, but they gave me the cinnamon and raisin. I requested the plain, but that's all right. I'm still pleased with these as well as my gluten-free um, sandwich rolls for during the week. I got, oh, just over here, some popcorn. These are the little snack bags. That's for Jack to take. And then I forgot also my coffee. This is part of the reason why I do a delivery from Asda is because they do a really good deal on the Tassimo coffee. So I got three packs of those, which should see me for a good two to three weeks. Um, a chicken in the bag. We're going to do a roast chicken. This one sounded really nice. How much was this? I think that was five pounds, this one. And this is smoked bacon and leek stuffed. Um, it's a British, it's a large chicken. We'll have leftovers. I'll be able to do chicken sandwiches. So I was quite pleased about this. We'll use this on one of our busy nights this week. Um, some prawns, we're gonna have prawns tonight. And two packs of the cod. Um, this is just the frozen fish. We're gonna be having this this week as well. Moving on, we got some lamb meatballs. I thought I'd try something different rather than just the regular meatballs. And then I got some turkey burgers, um, which we're going to be having as well. So that's everything that I got, you guys. Totally 97 pounds. So like I said, we spent our entire budget this week, but we should be able to get loads of meals out of that. And speaking of meals, I'm now going to share with you our meal plan for the week. Okay, you guys, let's go through this week's menu. So starting here on Monday, we're having pasta with garlic prawns. Um, James and I will have that. Then the kids will just have um, like a regular pasta. I'll do the same sauce. I just won't put the garlic prawns in that. It'll be a quick go-to supper though because we are out um, taking Harry out tonight. On Tuesday, we will be having turkey burgers with probably a baked potato to share between some of us and corn on the cob. Now, Wednesday is James's birthday, so I'm not sure if we're going to be going out or I'll cook him a special dinner. So I'm going to try and... James doesn't like to celebrate his birthday, so I'm going to find out what he wants to do on the Wednesday. So we're going to play that by ear. On Thursday, um, I'm doing that roast chicken that I showed you guys with veggies and probably some roasted potatoes. On Friday, I'm gonna be doing baked cod with a spinach and cream cheese sauce. This is something I saw on Pinterest, which looked super duper easy, but really, really yummy. Um, and then the kids will just have their regular, they have like a battered cod, but they'll have the same veggies as us. On Saturday, we are finally making our homemade pizzas, which we've been wanting to do. And on Sunday, Sunday's always a busy day for us with rugby, so I want something easy. So I'm going to put those lamb meatballs in the slow cooker, and I'll serve that with rice and maybe some grilled vegetables. So that's everything that we're having this week. I'm really hoping to stick with the meal plan. And, you know, sickness has been getting in the way of us having all our proper meals, but I want to get some good food into all of us so we're feeling healthy. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching this week's grocery haul. I tend to post them every Monday if we stick to our shop in our routine. If you did like this video, please do hit the red subscribe button or give me a thumbs up. And I will try and link my previous grocery haul down below. And if you'd like to see any of the recipes from the meals that I've said that we're going to be having this week, please do let me know and I'd be happy to share those with you. Thanks everyone for watching. Take care and have a great day. Bye now.